Hi, welcome to this typical mule production video. Today's video is on the mule deer rut, and this year was a great year. Saw a lot of deer, a lot of bucks. I uh, had to go through a lot of footage to create this this video. We did see some quantity and quality, so both this year, a lot of bucks and some good bucks. And so come along with me and let's enjoy the mule deer rut. This is just a nice little four point two and a half year old buck and he was out just cruising looking for does in the sagebrush and I caught him this morning. I apologize for the for the grainy footage. He was quite a ways away but um, just a cool little buck, an awesome encounter. And this is a pretty nice four point here. Um, nice, I think he's three and a half year old buck. Uh, he was quite a ways away again, probably a thousand yards in this. And so that's why the it's grainy and the heat waves are horrible, but um, nice buck. And this is just another clip of him. Um, cool buck. Um, beautiful four point and if you notice on his left side there he's got a little cheater on his G3 um, just a beautiful buck and here he is again um, him and his does his does finally spotted me and they kind of went over the rock pile and, and left awesome encounter This uh, sequence is of a, a nice three point, um, pretty big three point. I mean, not huge, but he's a good buck. And uh, all these sequences, except for the last buck I show you, this was all during an, an open hunt. And so all these, all these bucks were available to shoot. And uh, this, is, this is just another uh, picture of that three point. Beautiful buck, great encounter. Huh. And this is just a uh, a little four by four. Um, I caught him on top of a rock pile. He's renting these does, and uh, he just kind of stayed kind of behind the brush most of the time. Uh, just a cool experience, young two and a half year old buck. Um, just a just an awesome, good up and comer. This sequence is pretty cool. This is a, a three by four. And on his left side, he's got, on his G2, he's got a teeny little fork back there. Um, and he gets it on with the sagebrush right here. He starts tearing it apart. Um, just a cool sequence and an awesome experience. If I had to guess, he's probably a three-year-old deer. Not the greatest genetics, but still cool. Cool buck, beautiful buck. And it's amazing how strong these bucks are. 
Uh, yeah, this sequence right here, you watch him rip that sagebrush right out of the ground. Um, so that just realizes, makes you realize how much power they have, you know. And he was just out. There was some does that he was kind of following, and I didn't get any does in the, the picture, but he's following some does and um, just following them as they were feeding. And again, this, this footage was taken from a long ways away, so I apologize for the shakiness and the graininess. Um, and this buck right here, he's laying down right here, and he's... He's got some does that are up and feeding right now, and uh, he's just a, a nice three-point um, with with some eye guards. Um, again, probably another three and a half year old deer. Uh, just a beautiful buck. Not huge, but but just a cool looking three-point. And as always, they always look. <laughs> a lot better from the back. And again, this deer was quite a ways away, 400, 500 yards, so I apologize for the grainy footage. And this here's a nice four point, and he's courting these does. He was rutting them pretty hard. Um, just a cool, you know, like, 150s, four point, just a cool buck. I think he's two and a half year old. He may be three and a half, but either way, he's a cool buck. And I kind of like his face markings. He really, he doesn't have that, that light white face like a lot of bucks does. He's kind of just got the, the white top on his muzzle. So just a cool look on this buck. This buck again, long ways away, four or five hundred yards. Any closer than this, and these bucks would leave the country, so it was hard to get close to these bucks, but. And the heat waves on these sunny days makes it rough. This buck here, he's a pretty nice four by three. He, he's probably three and a half, but he if he if he's two and a half, this buck's gonna be a toad. I mean, he's only a four by three, but he's got some width to him, and you can see how willowy is his antlers are. So I mean, that tells you that you know he's a pretty he's a pretty young buck. He's definitely no more than three and a half. Just an awesome experience and a really cool buck. Yeah, I just caught him on top of this rock pile, cruising looking for does.
And this buck here is just a, a cool young buck, just a four by three, two and a half year old. Um, I was able to get pretty close to him on this morning and so I got some pretty good foot footage of this young buck. He was just out chasing does. And then this buck, um, this is the same buck that we saw earlier, the second buck that I showed you guys with the cheater on his, his left side there. Um, and I caught him this morning. He was rutting some does and um, caught him pretty close. He was within 100 yards and just got some great footage of him. And uh, just a beautiful, beautiful young buck. Probably a three and a half year old. Um, it's got good potential. His fronts are a little weak, but man, what a beautiful deer. And this was a really cool experience. And this is a cool buck right here, just a little three by three, you know, probably two and a half year old deer. Uh, just standing out in the sagebrush, out cruising looking for does on this frosty, cold morning. Um, beautiful deer, beautiful scenery, and a cool experience. And this buck here is the biggest buck I saw all year out on the winter range. And I think he'll break 200. He's got some extras. He's got super deep forks. And uh, these next clips really, really kind of show him off. Um, really tall, deep forks. Not real wide, probably only 26, 27 wide, but he's got extras and just a cool buck. Just a nice, nice buck, and here he is, a little slow motion clip of him after I caught back up with him after he, he took off off that rock pile. And I mean, you can just see, he's got good back forks. You can see that cheater there on the right side. Um, he's got a cheater on the left side, and another uh, split coming off of his G3 on the, on the left side. Just a beautiful buck. Tall forks, deep back forks, huge front forks. Just an amazing buck. And I, I think this buck is close to 200, if not over 200 inches. Just a, a beautiful mule deer. Here's another clip of him and he's just chasing these does. Like he wasn't the one that was running. He it was these does that were just they just kept going. Um he probably he probably traveled a mile while I was watching him. Um just a, a beautiful buck. Um one of the bigger bucks I've seen out on the winter range, you know, out during the rut. Like I said, the season was open, so this buck was available for people to hunt. So I think that's why they were they were so skittish. When I first saw this this buck up on that rock pile, that first image of him running away, they were only like 80 yards away. So. And unfortunately, I didn't have this tag. I didn't draw this tag, so. Or this is definitely a, a buck I would I would think about 
shooting on this with this tag. Just an amazing mule deer. Um, bucks like this, they aren't around every corner. And, you know, you're so lucky and blessed to see when you do see bucks like this. I mean, look at this guy. Look at those fronts. Look at those back forks. Just tall. And that that main beam on his on his right side has a little split in the front of it. And you can see it really well on that that first clip of when he's running away from off the top of the rock pile. This buck here is a nice buck. He's not very wide. He's probably 20 to 22 inches wide, but he's got really deep forks. He's probably a four and a half year old deer. He's got a limp here. Um, just a cool, just a cool buck. Um, he was out chasing does and and in hot pursuit of one and so as you can see right there he's and I apologize for the footage this buck was a long ways away as you can see there he's kind of narrow but he's got really good forks you know above average forks even even with his width not being very wide I'd probably put him in the low 170s just a nice buck Beautiful deer, just real boxy frame. Beautiful buck. Yeah, you can see his, his fork's really good right here. You know how deep they are. And this buck right here is just a, a beautiful mule deer, really tall, just has kind of average forks, below average forks, but a really cool, really tall buck, probably three and a half year old. And he was out on this morning uh, rutting these does. And the next sequence I have of him, I, I got a little closer to him and got a little better footage. Um, but it's a beautiful buck just out standing in the sagebrush in sunlight, chasing these does around, rotting hard. And just a, just a cool deer. Probably, you know, low 160s. Not going to score the best, but man, he's beautiful. Yeah, and here I got a little closer to him. And got a little better footage of him while he's standing on this rock pile. Give you a better look at him. He was probably 120, 150 yards maybe at the most away right here. And this buck, I had a hard time finding him. He was hidden in the sagebrush, and I knew he was there because I'd seen him with my binoculars, but I was trying to get my camera on him. And finally, I figure out he's there just as, just as he kind of takes off, but uh, just kind of a cool experience. Kind of a, can you find Waldo type, <laughs> type thing. Just a nice young four point.
This is just a, a young two and a half year old four point. He's not very wide, kind of spindly, but just a cool experience and a, a cool looking buck. It always makes you wonder, you know, what these deer are gonna turn into uh, when they get some age to them. Yeah, just a just a cool mule deer. Just narrow and tall. And this is just a glorified two point here, but um, in this sequence he does some snort wheezes and I looked all I could. I I glassed these rock piles and I could not find the deer that he was snort wheezing at. Like here he goes right here. He's gonna snort wheeze right here pretty quick. Yeah, here he goes right there. Yeah, and I, I looked and I looked and I could not find the deer he he was blowing at. And he does it again right here. Yeah, right there he snort wheezes again. I could not find the deer. So they hide good in these in this open this sagebrush country. They they can disappear easy. And these two bucks, there's a, a glorified two point here and then this young four point and this, this two point's definitely the boss. He's, he kind of pushes this four point around a little bit, but just a cute, cool sequence of these two bucks in this tall sagebrush. And I didn't see any other deer, so I don't know if there was a doe in there that they were kind of uh, messing, you know, messing around with and fighting over or what. This sequence is pretty cool. This is a, a nice four by three buck. I'm thinking he's a four and a half year old deer, so I mean his genetics aren't the best. He might only be three and a half, but he's got a nice frame, nice boxy frame, decent forks. Uh, and he was just out rutting this doe here, following wherever she went, she went, he went. So just a cool experience, beautiful buck. He's got nice front forks. Again, sorry for the grainy footage. These deer, like I said, most of them are over 500 yards away. Um, so getting, you know, good footage on these warm days from that distance is pretty tough. On the, you know, on these uh, sunny days in the winter time, you get a lot of those heat waves, and and it's hard to get good footage of these guys. But it's beautiful deer, beautiful buck. This buck here was standing on top of a rock pile, just a cool three by four. Um, probably three and a half year old deer. He could be four and a half, um, but just a cool buck. He was searching for does and I was he was a long ways away, like 
three quarters of a mile away to a mile away, standing on top of, of a ridge. And uh, so the footage isn't the best, and it keeps focusing in and out. But and it was it was lightly snowing during this this time too. So, but I had a beautiful buck and a cool experience. Kind of an average deer that you can expect to see out running the does in this area, you know. And this is a sequence of a young uh, four by four by three buck, and just a little two and a half year old deer. And he's out chasing these does. He's got a group of like three or four does that he was chasing. Um, he could be something special in the future. He's got nice eye guards. Um, hopefully his back forks develop a little better, you know, as he ages. Just a cool sequence. He was pretty close. He was like 100 yards away. And this is just a cool, quick shot I got of a four by three buck and just a young two and a half year old. And they didn't stick around too long. I was only like 80 yards and it had just barely got light. And then this is the last buck I have in this sequence. And, and this buck is impressive. I think he's only two and a half years old. And I call them droppers. As you can see, he's got a, a drop tine on each, on each of his main beams, coming off of each of his main beams. And I think he's only two and a half. I think this deer has huge potential. It's fairly wide. Um, this deer is actually from a, a different winter range. And, uh, I just caught him out rutting these does and it's actually mid-December right here and he's still rutting does and chasing them around. Here's another clip of him pushing this doe around. Beautiful buck, beautiful young up-and-comer. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. Live in the moment, enjoy the memories. Thanks for watching.